Hi, I'm T. Ben Dune with Make It Mine. We're going to talk about coloring your shrink plastic. For shrink plastic, you have basically two really good coloring options. You can either use permanent marker, and they come in a variety of colors, and they also come in a variety of widths, so you can get really thick lines or you can get super, super thin fine lines. I like to use the fine line marker because it makes my details even smaller after they shrink up. And then the other option is colored pencils, and you can use any kind of colored pencil you want. The better quality, of course, the better your color will turn out after you've colored it. There are a couple of things that you don't want to use on shrink plastic. You don't want to use paint. Paint is going to end up flaking off, shriveling up, possibly even giving off toxic fumes. It's really not a good option. You don't want to use any kind of corrective fluid that you may use on paper. You also don't want to use tape or any sort of collage elements. I wouldn't recommend an ink pen either. I'm not sure quite what it would do. It might buckle up or flake off depending on the content of the ink. Your two best things to stick with are the permanent marker and the colored pencils. With those two coloring options, you have a variety of techniques that you can apply with them. You can see a couple of examples of pieces that I've done. You can get either a 3D type of effect if you use your permanent marker on the top shiny side. There are actually two sides of shrink plastic. There's a frosted side, and that takes both the permanent marker and the colored pencil very well, and it will stick very well on the frosted side. But there is also a slick side that is not necessarily meant for coloring, but you can use the permanent marker on it. Just be aware that after you have shrunk down your plastic, you'll want to do a type of a coating over it to protect it from rubbing off. I find that if I'm wearing any kind of lotion on my hands, I'll smudge off all of my beautiful artwork that I've just put on there. You can get an enamel meltable coating from the shrink plastic makers. On the opposite side of the shrink plastic, on the frosted side, you can use colored pencil, you can use marker, and you can just draw your designs and color them in. When you do this, however, be aware that you're actually going to be drawing in the reverse image of how it's going to appear when you flip it over after you've shrunk it. For this octopus, for example, I drew him backwards and colored him in, and then after I shrank him, flip him over, and he goes in the other direction. Those are your coloring options for shrink plastic.